The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. Chapter 1. Portents of John S. Birth. In the name of the great life, may hallowed light be glorified. A child was planted out of the height, a mystery revealed in Jerusalem. The priests saw dreams chill seized on their children, chill seized J-E-R-U-S-A-L-E-M, or Ashlam. Early in the morning he went out the temple. He opened his mouth in blasphemy. And his lips of lying. He opened his mouth in blasphemy and spake to all of the priests, in my vision of the night I beheld, I beheld in my vision this. When I lay there, I slept not and rested not, and I beheld that a star appeared and stood over in Ishbi, Elizabeth. Fire burned an old father, Abba Zaba, Zachariah, Zachariah, three heaven lights appeared. The sun sank, and the lights rose. Fire lit up the house of the people, synagogue, smoke rose over the temple. A quaking quaked in the throne chariot, so that earth removed from her seat. A star flew down into Judea, a star flew down into Jerusalem. The sun appeared by night, and the moon rose by day. When the priests heard this, they cast dust on their head. Yaakov the priest weeps, and Bini Amin back quote as tears flow. Shalai and Shalbai cast dust on their heads. Eliezer, the chief priest, opened his moyeth and spake unto all of the priests, Yaakov interprets dreams, but as yet he has no understanding of these. Bini Amin interprets dreams, is he not a man who discloses your secrets? Tab Yaman gives us no revelation, though you deem. He can give information on all that is, and that which is not. Earth groans out of season, and is sent a world through the heaven spheres. Earth opens her mouth, and speaks to Eliezer, go to Liliac, that he may interpret the dreams you have seen. Thereupon Eliezer opened his mouth and spake unto all of the priests, who goes to Liliac, that he may interpret the dreams you have seen. Then wrote they a letter, and put it in the hand of Tab Yaman. Tab Yaman took the letter, and betook himself to Liliac. Liliac lay on his bed. Sleep had not yet flown from him. A quaking came into his heart, shivered his heart and brought it down from its stay. Tab Yaman drew near to Liliac. Tab Yaman stepped up to Liliac, shook him out of his sleep and spake to him the priest saw dreams. The above paragraph repeated, and the moon rose by day. When Liliac heard this, he cast dust on his head. Naked, Liliac rose from his bed and fetched the dream book. He opens it and reads in it and looks for what stands there written. He opens it and reads therein and interpret the dreams in silence. Without reading aloud. He writes them in a letter and expounds them. To a leaf. In it he says to them woe unto you, all of you priests, for Anishbi, Elizabeth, shall bear a child. Woe unto you, Mistress Torah, the law, for Johanna shall be born. In Jerusalem. Liliac writes unto them in the letter, and says to them, the star, that came and stood over in Ishbi, Elizabeth, a child, will be planted out of the height from above he comes and will be given unto in Ishbi, Elizabeth. The fire that burned in old father, Abba Zaba, Zachariah, Zachariah, Johanna shall be born in Jerusalem. Tab Yaman took the letter and in haste made off to Jerusalem. He came and found all the priests sitting in sorrow. He took the letter and laid it in the hand of Elizer. He opens it and reads it and finds in it wondrous discourses. He opens it and reads it and sees what stands therein written. He reads it in silence and gives them no decision about it. Elizer then took it and laid it in the hand of old father Zachariah. He opens it and reads it and sees what stands therein written. He reads it in silence and gives no decision about it. Eliza now opened his mouth and spake to old father Zachariah, Old father, get thee gone from Judea, lest thou stir up strife in Jerusalem. Old father then raised his right hand and smote on the head of Eliza, saying, Eliza, thou great house, thou head of all the priests. If thou in thy inner part, sold, knewest thy mother, thou wouldst not dare come into our synagogue. If thou in thy inner part knewest, thou wouldst not dare read the Torah. For thy mother was a wanton. 
A wanton was she, who did not match with the house of her age USBAND backquote's father. As thy father had not the hundred gold staters for writing her the bill of divorcement, he abandoned her straight away and inquired not for her. Is there a day when I come and look forth and see not Misha bar Amra, Moses, son of Amram? Yea, is there a day when I come without praying in your synagogue that all of you should be false and dishonest and say a word? Which you have any back quote e are heard about me? Where is there a dead man? Who becomes living again that a Nishbai should bear a child? Where is there a blind man who becomes seen? Where is there a lame man for whom his feet walk again? And where is there a mute who learns to read a lud? From a book that a Nishbai should bear a child? Nay, neither through me nor through you will a Nishbai ever bear a child. Then all of the priests arose and said to old father Zachariah, they said in reproach, Be at rest and keep thy seat, old father, and let the calm of the good rest upon thee. Old father, if there were no dreams in Judea, then would all that Misha has said be lying. Rather shall thy word and our word be made good, and the dreams we have seen. Yohanna will receive Jordan and be called a prophet in Jerusalem. Thereupon old father removed himself from their midst, and Eliza followed him. Then were seen three lights, lamps, which accompanied him. They ran up, caught old father by the hem of his robe and said to him, Old father, what is it that goes before thee, and what is it that follows thee? Then he answered them, saying, O Eliza, thou great house, thou head of all. The priests, I know not whom the lights guard which go before me. I know not with whom the fire goes which follows me. But neither through me nor through you will anish by ever bear a child. Then all the priests rose and said to old father Zachariah, in reproach they said, Old father Zachariah, be at peace, firm and decided, for the child will be planted from out of the most high height and be given to thee in old age. Yohanna will receive Jordan and be called a prophet in Jerusalem. We will be baptized with his baptizing, and with his your sign will we be signed. We will take his bread and drink his drink, and with him ascend to Light backquote's region. All the priests arose and said to old father Zachariah, in reproach they said, Old father we will enlighten thee, as to thy race and thy fathers, from whom thou hast come forth. Here follows a long list of prophets and sages, beginning with Moses, which I omit, as it requires a lengthy commentary for which space here does not serve, ending with Tab Yaman and the school teachers have come forth from thy race. The blessed princes, who are thy forebears, old father, all of them, have taken no wife and begotten no sons. Yet in their old age each of them had a son. They had sons, and they were prophets in Jerusalem. If now, out of thee as well a prophet comes forth, thou dost then revive this race. Again. Yea, Johanna will be born, and will be called prophet in Jerusalem. Then Eliza opened his mouth and said to old father, Old father, if Johanna receives Jordan, then will I be his servant, be baptized with his baptizing, and signed with his pure sign. We will take his bread and drink his drink and with him. Ascend to Light backquote's region. Then old father opened his mouth and said unto all of the priests, If the child comes out of the most high height, what then will you do in Jerusalem? They have taken the child of the basin of Jordan and laid him in the womb of Anishbi, Elizabeth. Life is victorious and victorious is the man who has come hither. The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. Chapter 2. J.O.H.N. Backquote's Proclamation Concerning Himself and His Assumption of the P.R.O.P.H.E.T. Backquote's Mantle. Yahya proclaims in the nights, Yohanna on the N.I.G.H.T. Backquote's Evenings. Yahya proclaims in the nights and says, Through my F.A.T.H.E.R. Backquote's Discourses I give light and through the Praise of the man, my creator. I have freed my soul from the world and from the works that are hateful and wrong.
The seven, rulers planetary spirits, put question to me. The dead who have not seen life, and they said unto me, In whose strength dost thou stand there, and with whose praise dost thou make proclamation? Thereupon gave to them answer, I stand in the strength of my father, and with the praise of the man, my creator. I have built no house in Judea, I have set up no throne in Jerusalem. I have not loved the wreath of the roses, not commerce with lovely women. I have not loved the defective, deficiency, not loved the cup of the drunkards. I have loved no food of the body, and envy has found no place in me. I have not forgotten my night prayer, not forgotten the wondrous Jordan. I have not forgotten my baptizing, not forgotten my pure sign. I have not forgotten Sunday, and the day back quote s evening has not condemned me. I have not forgotten Shilmai and Nidbai, who dwell in the house of the mighty. They clear me, and let me ascend they know no fault, no defect in me. When Yahya said this, life rejoiced over him greatly. The seven sent him their greeting, and the twelve made obeisance before him. They said to him, Of all these words which thou hast spoken, thou hast not said a single one falsely. Delightful and fair is thy voice. And none is equal to thee. Fair is thy discourse in thy mouth and precious is thy speech, which has been bestowed upon thee. The vesture which first life did give unto Adam, the man, the vesture. Which first life did give unto Ram, the man, the vesture which first life did give unto Sherbai, the man, the vesture first life. Did give unto Shem Barnu, Shem son of Noah, has he given now unto thee. He hath given it thee, O Yahya, that thou mayest ascend, and with thee may those descend the house of the defect, thy body, will be left behind in the desert. Every one who shall be found sinless, will ascend unto thee, in the region of light, he who is not found sinless, will be called to account in the guard houses. The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. Chapter 3. J-O-H-N back quote s light sleep. Yahya proclaims in the nights, Yohana on the N-I-G-H-T back quote s evenings. Yahya proclaims in the nights and says, In the name of him who is wondrous and all-surpassing. The sun sat in his court, and the moon sat in the dragon. The four winds of the house, get them gone on their wings. And blow not. The sun opened his mouth and spake unto Yahya, Thou hast three headbands and a crown which equals in worth the whole world. Thou hast a ship of Mashkal, which sails about here on the Jordan. Thou hast a great vessel which sails about here twixt the waters above the firmament. If thou goest to the house of the Great One, remember us in the G-R-A-A-T back quote s presents. Thereupon Yahya opened his mouth and spake to the sun in Jerusalem, Thou inquirest about the headbands, may the perfect watch over thy crown. This mashkal ship they have carpented together with glorious splendor. On the vessel that sails twixt the waters, the seal of the king has been set. She who in thy house plays the wanton, goes hence and approaches. The dung house she seeks to have children from her own proper spousum. And she does not find them. If she then has fulfilled her vow, and she depart, she is unworthy of the house of the life, and will not be allotted to the light dwelling and praised be life. The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. Chapter 4. John the Ascetic. Yahya proclaims in the nights, Yohana on the N-I-G-H-T back quote s evenings. Yahya proclaimed in the nights and speaks, Stand not I here alone? I go to and fro. Where is a prophet my equal? Who makes proclamation? Equal to my proclamations? and who doth discourse with the like of my wondrous voice. When Yahya thus spake, the two women weep. Miriam and Anishbi weep, and for both tears flow. They say, We will go hence, and do thou stay here see that thou dost. Not bring us to stumble. I, am, will go hence, and do thou. Stay here, see that thou doest not bring me to stumble. I, e, will go hence, and do thou stay here see that thou. 
doest not fill me with sorrow. Then Yahya opened his mouth and spake to Anishbi in Jerusalem, Is there any who could take my place in the height? Is there any who could take my place in the height, so that thou mayest pay for me ransom? If thou canst pay for me ransom, then bring thy jewels and ransom me. If thou canst pay for me ransom, then bring thy gold and ransom me. Thereupon Anishbi opened her mouth and spake to Yahya in Jerusalem, Who is thy equal in Judea? Who is thy equal in Jerusalem, that I should look on him and forget thee? Yahya continued, saying, Who is my equal? Who is my equal, that thou shouldst look on him and forget me? Before my voice and the voice of my proclamations the Torah disappeared in Jerusalem. Before the voice of my discourse the readers read no more in Jerusalem. The wanton cease from their lewdness, and the women go not forth to the hither to make come the brides in their wreaths, and their tears flow down to the earth. The child in the womb of his mother heard my voice and did weep. The merchants trade not in Judea, and the fishers fish not in Jerusalem. The women of Israel dress not in dresses of color. The brides wear no gold and the ladies no jewels. Women and men look no more at their face in a mirror. Before my voice and the voice of my proclamations, the water rose up to the pillars. Because of my voice and the voice of my proclamations, the fish brought to me their greetings. Before my voice and the voice of my proclamations, the birds made obeisance and said, Well for thee, and again, Well for the Yahya, and well for the man whom thou dost worship. Thou hast set thyself free, and won thy release, O Yahya, and left the world empty. The women has not led thee away. With their lewdness, and their words have not made thee distracted. Through sweet savors and scents thou hast not forgotten thy Lord. From thy mind, thou hast not made thyself drunk and with wine, and hast done no deeds of impiety. No backsliding has ceased. On thee in Jerusalem, thou hast set thyself free, and won thy release, and set up thy throne for thee in Life backquote's house. And life is victorious. The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. Of Judgment Day. Chapter 8. The chapters 5 through 7 is missing. Yahya proclaims in the nights Yahana in the evening of the night. Yahya proclaims and speaks ye nobles, who lie there, ye ladies, who will not awaken, ye who lie there, what will you do on the day of judgment? When the soul strips off the body, on judgment day, what will you do? O thou distracted, jumbled up world in ruin. Thy men die, and thy false scriptures are closed. Where is Adam, the first man, who was here ahead of the young? Where is Hawa? Eve, his wife, out of whom the world was awakened to life? Where is Shittal, Seth, son of Adam, out of whom worlds and eons rose? Where is Ram and Rud, who belonged to the age of the sword? Where are Sherbai and Sharhadel, who belonged to the age of the fire? Where is Shambar Nu, Shem, son of Noah, who belonged to the age of the flood? All have departed and have not returned and taken their seats as guardians in this world. The last day is like a feast day, for which the worlds and the eons are waiting. The planets like fatted oxen, who stand there for the day of the slaughter. The children of this world are like fat rams, who stand in the markets for sale. But as for my friends, who pay homage to life, their sins and transgressions shall be forgiven them. And life is victorious. The Mandian Book of John the Baptizer. The Letter of Truth. Chapter 9. I take no delight in the eons, I take no delight in all of the worlds, I take no delight in the eons, by the letter of truth which has come hither. They took the letter and put it in the hand of the Jews. They opened it, read in it, and see that it does not contain what they would, that it does not contain what their soul wills. They took the letter and put it in the hand of Yohanna, saying, Take Rab Yohanna, T-R-U-T-H backquote's letter, which has come here. 
to thee from thy father. Johanna opened it, and read it and saw in it a wondrous writing. He opened it, and read in it, and became full of life. This is, what I would, and this does my soul will he said. Johanna has left his body his brothers make. Proclamations, his brothers proclaim unto him on the mount, on Mount Carmel. They took the letter and brought it to the mount, to Mount Carmel. They read out of the letter to them and explain to them the writing, to Yaakov and Beniamin and Shumal. They assembled on Mount Carmel. Gnosis of life, manded the Hayut, who is far from the height, writes. I have come unto thee, O soul, whom life has sent into this world. In the robes of the eight, went I into the world. I went in the vesture of life, and came into the world. The vesture. I brought of the seven, I went as far as the eight. The vesture of the seven I took and took hold of the eight with my hand. I have taken them, and I take them, and I will take them, and not let them go. I have taken them, and hold them fast, and the wicked spirits shall change into good. Wherefore do ye weep, O ye generations, wherefore weep ye, O peoples? Wherefore fadeth thy splendor? For you have I brought my image, I betook myself into the world. And life is victorious. Chapter 10. John's Invulnerability. Yahia proclaims in the nights, yo how now on the night's evenings. Yahia proclaims in the nights and speaks. Is there anyone greater than I? They measure my works, my wage. Is acid and my crown, and my praise brings me on high in peace. Yakif leaves the house of the people, Benyamin leaves the temple, Elazar. The great house, leaves the dome of the priests. The priests spake unto Yahia in Jerusalem. Yahia, go forth from our city. Before thy voice quaked the house of the people. At the sound of thy proclamations the temple did quake, at the sound of thy discourse quaked the priest's dome. Therion Yahia answered the priests of Jerusalem. Bring fire and butter on me, bring sword and hew me in pieces. But the priests in Jerusalem answered to Yahia. Fire does not burn thee, O Yahia, for life's name has been uttered o'er thee. A sword does not hew thee in pieces, O Yahia, for life's sun rests here upon thee. And life is victorious. Index the Nazarenes of Mount Carmel.